The Indian Air Force has successfully concluded the one-month-long tactical leadership project in Egypt with Greek and Egyptian Air Forces. India will spend 12,000 crore rupees for the creation and upgradation of air bases at Minicoy and Agati Islands. Russia has confirmed that it will showcase its Su-57 fifth generation fighter jet at the upcoming Aero India 2025, and a mock-up of the Su-75 will also be displayed. Saudi Arabia has begun negotiations with Turkey to acquire 100 Khan fifth generation fighter jets. After conducting first flight of two sixth-generation aircraft, China has launched its Type 76 amphibious assault ship equipped with electromagnetic aircraft launch system, and new KJ-3000 AWACS. The RDO's Instruments Research and Development Establishment has embarked on the development of next-generation night vision binocular, and next-generation night vision weapon site. Tato Advanced Systems has said, that its new manufacturing plant in Morocco will be operational within 12 months, that will produce around 100 WAP annually, with the first units to roll out within 18 months of commencement. Azad Engineering has embarked on the development of the advanced turbo gas generator under contract from the gas turbine research establishment, that will power the RDO's 350 km medium-range anti-ship missile. The first flight of two Chinese sixth-generation stealth fighter jet has once again sparked a debate to cancel the Tejas Mark II program in favor of acquiring a fifth-generation fighter jet from abroad, while focusing on expediting the AMCA, as in this rapidly evolving environment, the Air Force must make tough decisions about its fighter fleet composition to maintain a credible deterrence and operational edge, as until now, India has faced delays in development pathologically poor planning, bureaucratic hurdles, and an over-reliance on imported engines, that have plagued India's fighter programs for years. While others have said, that the Indian Air Force must keep faith on the Tejas Mark II, as it serves as an essential bridge, and cancelling the Tejas Mark II could hamper India's domestic aerospace ecosystem. Top military analysts have said, that developing a sixth-generation fighter independently would be astronomically expensive, and India should accept the offer to join the Global Combat Air program as an observer, as India would gain insights into the latest developments in sixth-generation fighter technology, that could significantly benefit India's AMCA program. Joining the Global Combat Air program as an observer, would reinforce India's defense ties with key Western allies, that could lead to technology transfers, co-development opportunities, and a bolstered position in global defense coalitions. The 13,000-ton S-5-class SSBN was planned to feature 12 missile tubes, with six on each side of the submarine, however, the design has been revised to accommodate eight missile tubes on each side, increasing the submarine's capacity to carry 16K-6 MIRF-capable ballistic missiles. India's Ministry of Defense has approved plans to manufacture two S-5-class submarines simultaneously, and over time, the fleet size is expected to grow to six units, with production planned in three phases. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, dropped it.